Feed the Animals is our newest book in our best-selling All Better series. There are five removable food disc pieces. You just pull the slot at the back and take them out. As you read the story, you're going to choose which food item you would like and put it in the slot and see it go down into the animal's belly. You can be silly and come up with some new combinations or you can stay true to what the animals might like to eat and put the food item right in there. We have a new series called Animal Magic. Not only will kids love turning the page and watch the animals change before their eyes, but they're also going to learn about how creatures camouflage both in the ocean and in the jungle. The Usborne Rhyming Alphabet has all this alliteration in it and it's another rhythmic book. It's a rollicking story that's really going to provide a perfect introduction to letters and sounds of the alphabet all the way from alpaca to zebra. Every kid's asked the question, why do I have to go to bed? This book answers it. With lots of sturdy flaps to lift up and information to learn, it's going to make bedtime and nap time a little bit easier. Why can't I sleep here? They might ask, and you can find the answer. You will also get some helpful hints about what to do to have a strong bedtime routine at the back. The Little Children's Play-Doh book is a great activity book to take on the go with a small jar of Play-Doh with lots of different ideas for things to do with Play-Doh. You can make different shapes to decorate each and every page and these pages are quite sturdy and wipeable so they are easy to clean up and use again and again. Have you ever noticed that smiling is contagious? This new storybook, The Smile, is all about what a wonderful gift smiling at someone else is and the joy that it can cause from one person to another. At the end of this sweet story, it encourages kids to think of a way to spread their smiles around. We have two adorable new flat books in this Funny Farm series. Tractor Tractor is all about opposites and Cluck Cluck Duck is about counting. In Cluck Cluck Duck, the farmer sticks a duck egg under a hen to see if it will hatch. And kids will love lifting up these flaps and seeing what is going on behind the scenes. Ultimately a story all about a mother loving all of her little ones, no matter how they look. New in our very first noisy book series, we have dinosaurs with five fun, friendly sounds. For little ones, you have these tabs at the top making it easy for young kids to turn the pages. There's not a lot of text on each page, lots of sounds and things to explore as you make up a story on your own with your child. We have a new My First activity pad and this time it is farm themed. This has all kinds of simple word, number, and picture puzzles for really little kiddos. It helps them learn to count, and write and even just observe different things around them while doing these fun little exercises. We have two new wipe clean books. We have the first wipe clean drawing where young kids can use the included wipe clean reusable pen to practice their drawing and their pen control skills. Then you just wipe it off and reuse it again. And the same thing for our unicorn activity books comes with a wipe clean dry erase marker or you can use any one that you would like. There's mazes to do, counting activities, tracing, dot to dots, lots of fun things to take on the go. For spy lovers, we have a new spy maze book packed to the brim with all kinds of mazes. You're going to help people figure out ways to get from point A to point B. And there's a small paragraph on each page to help those reading and comprehension skills and also just kind of add a little bit more to the maze activities. And a new book in a build your own sticker book series. This is Sea Creatures, great for kids who love ocean life. Again, there's a paragraph at the top of each page. There are stickers in the back that correspond with each page. You simply tear them out along the perforation and place stickers in the corresponding parts. They go in one specific place. So this is great for older kids. There's also a fun statistics spot at the bottom there. That's something that my kids really enjoy reading and finding out more about the creatures that they are creating. Feelings are a hot topic these days with good reason. And we have a lift the flat book, questions and answers all about feelings. That's going to help address some of these difficult topics. How long will I feel this way? Can I have two feelings at once? With flaps to lift and information to find out, it makes 
a book like this a little bit more digestible so kids can look at one topic at a time. And it also has some really great advice. When I feel stuck, should I rip up my work and stomp on the floor? Well, that probably wouldn't be very good. Here's some ideas for something that you can do instead. There's an even a feelings wheel at the back and encouragement to go through this with a trusted adult. In our very first words library series, we have five new titles, garden, things that go, at home, animals, and farm. There is a peek through on each page and there is also something specific to look for. Here you're looking for the chick hiding through those little peepholes and it's a great introduction to some first vocabulary words.